and thanks for joining me. Here you see my worm harvester, the Trommel, with a brand new worm separator uh, that I built and just recently installed. So, uh, right now, tentative results. I've just used it once. It looks like uh, it's doing a real good job. I just have to build uh, one more thing for it. You know, where you always see the little divider here that helps uh, deflect the worms to one side and then the uh, compost to the other. That's just going to be on a little standalone uh, pod. That'll be real easy to make. And I'll have that on there. But let's take a look and see how I made it. And if you're interested, uh, hopefully uh, this will help you make one for yourself. All right, now what I want to build on the end of my, uh, my trommel here is a uh, worm extractor. I'm going to try my luck at it. What I have here is a 10 to, 10 to 8 reducer. Get this at any hardware store, Home Depot, whatever. And when I put it on the end of my uh, trommel, this is one of my two screens. This is my uh, quarter inch screen. And unfortunately the end that's going to come off of is eight and a quarter inches. So this will fit perfectly on the inside. The problem is anything that comes through is going to come and get, get, get stuck here on the edges. So I got to just modify them. What I'm planning on doing is cutting off the rings. We're using the, the 10 inch ring on the uh, 8 inch side and I'll cut off whatever's excess. And then I'll extend this angle here. This will give me my rigidness and an ang a constant angle uh, right in this area here. And extend it out about 6 to 8 inches for my uh, funnel, the funnel look. So I can have a worm extractor like you see on the uh, commercial models. Let's see how this turns out. Okay, here I am in the middle of my setup. Here you can see where I got the center cone. What I've done is I marked off how far down I figured I had to go to get my eight and a quarter inch diameter to go around the outskirts of the uh, trommel. I took the 10 inch band, took, drilled out the pop rivets, put in some uh, pop rivets mown and reduced it down to eight and a quarter. So that'll be my new band. This is the old 8 inch band that was too small. Couldn't, can't really save that. Let's see what I can do with that later. So, I'm going to work on these two. Uh, I'm going to cut this part off right, right here by where my thumb is. It's not going to leave me a whole lot right here, but that's going to give me a base that should be nice and rigid for me to go ahead and uh, wrap sheet metal on the inside to get my 6 inches. So, we'll see how this turns out, but this is how I am right in the middle of it. So, wish me luck. Well, it's been slow, but figuring it out as I'm going. As you can see right here, that's the uh, my initial base to it. That's what's left of it. I took the uh, like I said, the 10 inch ring and put it on here. Added two pop rivets right here to hold that, now so it's all together, nice and solid. And I have my cone now template all made up. How I made that, that was what took so long, trying to figure out how to do that. Here I cut up six inch strips of uh, cardboard. And then what I did is I turned, set this down, had my angle that I wanted, and I told to do this with one hand. Now you can get a little bit better idea. I set it in there and just taped it all up and got the shape I wanted. Measured up how high I wanted, measured up, get the bottom squared, and then when I got done, I had this <coughs> long sheet. So to make it lighter, and <coughs> so I wanted to worry about the tape coming off, I went ahead and transposed it onto a single piece of plywood or uh, cardboard for template. And board wasn't quite big enough, so I had to use a little scrap right here taped on there. So now I can just untape this, lay it out on my sheet metal, and cut that sheet metal to the uh, size I want. And then when I get, the, get that, my plan is at least, then I'll go ahead and hook it in, pop rivet this into place, and then I'll have me a nice little cone to go on the end of uh, my worm casting harvester. Okay, once I get the sheet metal all done, I'll show you how that part looks. 
Okay, I'm getting ready to cut out my cone now. Just came from Lowe's. I was able to find some metal that was just the perfect, as you can see, it's a template. Almost a perfect fit. Uh, what this was was called a uh, joist, a 16 by 36 joist planing banded. Whatever, it's fairly good gauge metal. I'm guessing probably about 23 gauge galvanized. So let me get this cut out and I'll get it all put together and we'll see how the out final results are. Okay, I finally have it all finished, have it installed. Here you see it on my uh, updated wheelbarrow barrel harvester. Uh, you see it there on the end. There's my standby screen. That's one eighth inch screen that's on the wheelbarrow right now. And over here I have a quarter inch screen. I designed this so um, you can see it right here with the little th screws so I can uh, carriage bolts with thumb screws on so I can go ahead now and I already had the holes pre-drilled on this so if I want to change it all you have to do is just change three of them that's what it looks like from the inside came out pretty nice I do believe I don't have no castings just yet to test it out with I already harvested the uh, day before yesterday but I'm anxious to see how this is and if you're curious about this wheelbarrow harvester uh, there's going to be a separate link uh, showing how that's going about it with my gear reduction box. I'm still not done with it. I want to relocate this grinder and put it up over here on the side so it's not hanging down in the way. That way this will also be able to support itself on top of a table and be able to run there and not be restricted to be up in the air like that. Well, I hope this helps. Uh, the total cost is about $16 for the metal with the uh, eight, 10 to 8 uh, reduction and uh, cheap metal and then I uh, spent probably about another $3 on uh, odds and ends, little nuts, bolts, washers, things of that nature. Uh, if you uh, like this, have any questions, comments, uh, please feel free to post in the bottom and I'll answer any questions that I can. Thank you and I hope this helps out somebody. Enjoy.